This is a planet much like the planet Earth on which we live. It revolves and rotates, and it once was inhabited by two main bodies of people, white people and not-so-white people. But one day, the white people began looking at the not-so-white people in a strange way. And so they gathered an army and began a war and won it. They rejoiced at the victory, and for years to come, they seemed to live very happily. Until one day, the fat people started looking at the not-so-fat people as though they were different. Suddenly, there was another war, much like the first war, except that it was just a little more difficult to tell who the enemy was. But with skill and daring, they managed a victory. The thin white people won. Aren't you glad you're thin and white, said one to another. But the tall, thin white people were not at all pleased with the short, thin white people. They kept getting in the way. Until they were out of the way completely. Now we are a beautiful race, said a tall, thin, white, short-haired man. Our beauty shall live as an example of those who died for our cause. But the long-haired, tall, thin, white people didn't quite agree with him. That little dispute was settled in a matter of months. Contented with their equality, the short-haired, tall, thin, white people governed their planet as well as could be expected. We have replaced equality with sameness, said a young brown-eyed man. The blue-eyed men listened with interest. The blues won. The blue-eyed, short-haired, thin, tall, white people were so pleased with their victory that they almost forgot they had an entire planet to run. But the long-nosed people among them wanted it run one way, and the short-nosed people wanted it run another way. When that war was over, only two short-nosed, blue-eyed, short-haired, tall, thin, white men were left. They stood and looked at each other for a long time, each wondering what the other man was thinking. Finally, one man said, it is fitting that no longer should there not be a denial and retreat to injustice, which according to principles which cannot and should not be jettisoned at this time will nevertheless yield and resist to the golden call of our global destiny. The other man agreed. Come to my house, he said. We will celebrate and drink a toast to the new and beautiful world that we'll recreate from all this misery and destruction. And so, after centuries of universal separations, the wastelands of war were forgotten. Here are some excerpts from a series of modern fables created by Reason Associates. The Outlanders, an imaginative approach to the problems of sharing and responsibility. Polka dots. Is one man better than the next because he has something different? Polka dots clearly illustrates the effects of wanting to outdo your neighbor. Corn, uniquely told and charmingly animated, corn reflects the essentials of learning and living together. The president. The president shows with satire and wit the pros and cons of choosing a leader. The mountain. A modern fable at its best the mountain stands as a clear example of what happens to people who take matters into their own hands.
Introducing our new improved Bromo Seltzer. Yes, we've changed Bromo. Not to be different, just to be better. Oh, we tried being different. We made Bromo into a tablet, but it just didn't dissolve fast enough. And we tried Bromo as a powder, but all we got was a lot of fizz. We even thought of giving it a fruit flavor, but that's for kids. Bromo is for adults. What we did do was make Bromo better, more effective, faster working, fresher tasting. New improved Bromo is the stomach remedy that really goes to work and fast. Not only on upset stomach, but also headache and edgy nerves. New improved Bromo seltzer doesn't look much different. It just works better than old Bromo. And that makes all the difference in the world. This is the Toyota Corolla. It has more horsepower than any other car in its class. It sells for $1,798 with 60 horsepower and all the extras. That includes the big three-speed heater, tilt-back front seats, alternator, windshield washer, double-barreled carburetor, and four-speed synchro mesh. You also get up to 40 miles per gallon and a car that never needs greasing. The Toyota Corolla. Drop into your nearest dealer and fly one. Ask the cook, the sales lady, mother, the soda jerk. Ask anyone. Ask them, what's the world's favorite flavor? Chocolate. Right. Chocolate. Chocolate, chocolate, chocolate. Chocolate everything. But what about a chocolate drink? Chocolate quick, of course. Nestle's quick. Delicious. Hot or cold, delicious. And Nestle's Quick is so easy to make, you can enjoy it anytime. Anytime? Anytime. In the morning, at high noon, afternoon, evening, bedtime, any hour, any season. Why should I drink Nestle's Quick? Because milk and Nestle's Quick give you the kind of nourishment and food energy needed by active people every day. Plus, the most scrumptious chocolate taste you can imagine. That's Nestle's Quick. No wonder everyone drinks it. Everyone? Well, almost everyone. Businessmen, acrobats, music lovers, homemakers, men about town. The whole family, the whole crowd, the whole world is mad about Nestle's Quick. It's that good? Mm-hmm. Shake, shoot. 